My dad and my son Bradley live around the corner. That's new for us. How do you get on with them? Well, town gets on fine with them, but um, she gets on with everyone. I mean, me and Bradley have had our ups and downs, but we're fine now. And your dad? He winds me up. But then I'm not married to my dad, and he was Tanya, so maybe he's irrelevant to all this. That's interesting. And what about you, Tanya? I don't really think your dad's a problem, but I'm amazed you're talking about him. That's why we're here, isn't it? Seems odd, that's all. Is there something else you'd rather talk about, Tanya? Uh, not sure. I don't think so. There's some stuff I'd like to discuss, if, um, if that's OK. Of course. We um, talked about trust at our first session, and I still think we have issues around that. You see, the thing is, right, even though I'm not, I'm just start, I start to feel guilty. But why would you if you're not doing anything? Well, I'm just saying, it's all exhausting, isn't it? Creates an atmosphere. Oh, so it's all my fault, is it? What about you? Sneaking around, mobile's always turned off. Right? What do you think that does to me? You don't think about that, do you? Well, why would I turn? Because it's all in your head. Oh, it's all in my head, is it? Oh, is this in my head, is it? Yeah? You're so clever, how'd you explain that? You're so smug now, are you? It's a receipt for 200 quid for jewellery, it's not for me. <laughs> what are you on about? Oh, I'm sorry, should I make this easy for you? Are you sleeping? No, so what makes you think that that's not for you? Oh, come off it. I know what you got me for my birthday, yeah, Abby I told me. She would be able to keep her mouth shut, which is why I got you this. As a surprise. I've been carrying it around for days so you wouldn't find it. Now, if you excuse me, I think we've done enough talking.